This is Bryce. Bryce plays drums. Nice fella. Lives in Richmond. This is Gus. Gus plays bass. This is Declan. Declan plays guitar. And I'm Amy. I'm the singer. Oh, we're called Amel and the Sniffers. This is just a day of the life of us when we're not doing other things. Guide to better living. So we all lived together. We, we played in other bands, me and Bryce, and, and then we were like, oh, we should start a band where it's the housemates. And Amy got the microphone, wrote and recorded our first EP in one night, and then ended up getting booked for gigs all of a sudden, and that's how we started. There was a drum kit set up in my bedroom already, and then I think they just set up a bunch of other shit in my room. Bass and guitar were DI, so they couldn't hear each other playing. And we were like, because we wrote it that day, it was like they were literally just like watching each other trying to get it right. It was all like done on timing because it was only two headphones that we could use. So Bryce got one, Amy got one, and then me and Callum who were playing bass and guitar, we just had to look at each other of what we were doing. And I never heard my guitar tracks until it was released online. I got a fact. Oh. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's heavy, one's a little lighter. When people are like, oh, what's it like being in a band? And they're like, what's, what, tell us about the bad things about being in a band. It's like, you have to hear the, the same jokes, same stories, fucking same farts, same food, always, every time, you know, everything about them, and you just fucking, it's just shit. The longest tour we'd done before we toured overseas with King Gizzard was a five day tour. That was 22 shows and 24 days with them. And we'd done like a week earlier in UK by ourselves. And so we were just like pretty much thrown into the deep end with that one. But it actually turned out alright surprisingly. Like we're all here. When I think about playing music, I always think about it in a live sense and like things that you can do live. And so that's how it helps me write, but I never like write music. I always think about music as performing it. The energy that I'd see at other gigs, I'd be like, that's what I want at my gig, you know what I mean? I think it's a really good scene, like everyone's pretty supportive of each other and there's a big push for like inclusion as well, so everyone is really gunning for just everyone to be a part of it. And we, I think we all just surround ourselves with people who are in the same headspace as us anyway. We won the Levi's Music Prize and we're probably going to just use the money for like touring and shit because it's pretty expensive, like flights and just like flights and accommodation and food really. I mean that's pretty much it, which is sick anyway. Why don't you do some push-ups, Bryce? 18. Wow. 19. I didn't know you could do that. 20. I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was pretty good. <laughs>